Hello, my name is Masej Fujita. Today I would like to play my songs from here, from this studio in Japan. Uh, I just moved to Japan uh, from Berlin in the beginning of this year. And uh, this is actually a former kindergarten uh, building in a small village, a village uh, on the mountain. And I was uh, lucky enough uh, to find this place and to use as a studio. And I play uh, my songs on this instrument, vibraphone. Uh, I'll talk about this instrument later on because uh, it's not very common instrument for everyone. Yes, so uh, the first song I'd like to play is a song called Tears of a Unicorn. And each song of mine has uh, stories behind, and i tell you that too. This one goes like this. Once upon a time, there were a girl and a unicorn. They became friends, but sad thing happened, and they became stars. They became constellations and cried for each other's sad fate. Their teardrops became new stars and they shimmer in the night sky.
Thank you very much. This was a song called Tears of Unicorn. Uh, before I play next song, I'd like to uh, talk about a little bit uh, about this instrument, vibraphone. Uh, yeah, as you see, the bars are out of metal, aluminium, and underneath each bar uh, there are pipes, and uh, sound goes into the pipe and comes up, and on top of the pipes, uh, there are leads. Maybe you see something moving. Uh, the leads are connected to a motor, and the motor turns them, and uh, it makes uh, this vibrato or tremolo uh, effect, and uh, this wow wow sound. That's why this instrument is called vibraphone. And vibraphone is quite new instrument. Uh, it, only has less uh, no, about 100 years of history behind so for me uh, it's there are a lot of uh, space to explore and uh, try different things on vibraphone or try different ways to make sound and yeah for the next song i use this uh the strings of bees uh you know this uh small plastic balls uh, to make accessory and stuff and I it makes sound nice sound on a vibraphone and I use it quite often the next song is called mountain deers the mountain deer actually okay. yes the story goes like this a mountain deer with a big horn lives in the forest by the mountain. He runs and hops through the woods and the rocks as if he is following something. He stops by the valley and looks up to the sky.
Dante Deer. Uh, for the next song, I'd like to play a song called uh, Requiem. For this song, uh, I use this uh, cello bowls, uh, this is for cello, and uh, it makes nice sound on the vibraphone too. Actually, you can uh, bow many different things, like uh, a cymbal from drums or different bells, and it makes nice sound on the vibraphone too. And the story of this one, uh, by the way, I, I always uh, say there are stories, but as you hear, uh, it's not very much a story. It's more like a small description of uh, what the image I have uh, in my mind when I play or when I compose. Uh, imagine uh, like uh, you reading a book uh, that is written in language you don't understand, but turning pages you find the pictures in it and from those pictures, you can kind of get idea of the what story about, or the atmosphere, or scenery, or the characters. But you don't really get the story out of it. My songs are similar to that. Then uh, this one was like this: Under the cloudy sky, a man with a long gown and a man with a horn in his hands. Stand on the slope of a hill between mountains. Surrounded by rocks, lying on grass, the dark gown flows in the wind. And the horn plays a requiem for their fallen comrades. The sound of horn echoed through the mountains and disappeared in the wind.
very much. This was a song called Requiem. Uh, for the next song, I'd like to play a song called It's Magical. Uh, for this song, I use this again uh, these and also this tin foil. You know, tin foil from the kitchen. And uh, it makes nice sound on the vibraphone. I quite I uh, use quite often too. And uh, the reason I use this uh, this time uh, is because uh, in the album uh, this song was a, uh, is accompanied by two cellos and uh, I made that arrangement and uh, to make uh, but to play on live uh, as a vibraphone solo piece uh, I was uh, trying to make it uh, the new arrangement or like a, uh, the vibraphone solo piece and it was kind of difficult to uh, do it so and I came up with the idea using this and it uh, made and uh, you know gives you some nice change to it so yes okay so uh, the story of this song was like this. The forest began it turning its color. A fairy flies on a leaf with the wind blowing it up from the valley along with small burrows. He looks down the golden forest and the shining waterfall underneath and he yells, it's magical.
Thank you. This was, uh, it's magical. It's really, sun is shining now. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, the next song I'd like to play a song called Book of Life. And for this, uh, okay, uh, yeah, this song is kind of special for me in two ways. Uh, one is that uh, this is a half composed and half improvised, which means I, I know uh, what to do and where to go, but what I actually play is improvised, so it's a little bit different each time. And the second difference is that uh, this, uh, the story of this song is about the uh, human people. And normally uh, my stories are uh, about nature and animals and those things, but uh, yeah, this is about human. The story goes like this. Somewhere on the earth, two people were born. They met and lived together.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this song was uh, Book of Life. The next song would be the last one, and the last song I play, the song called River. For this song, again, I use this uh, tin foil. Mm. The story of this song goes like this. From a small spring in the mountain, a small stream is running down, faster and wider, winding and splashing against the rocks through the forest. And in the end, it pours into a lake.
Thank you very much. Yeah, it was fun to play. I hope you enjoyed uh, as much as I did. Yeah, it was uh, it was very first time for me to play online, and uh, yeah, it was quite the experience. Thank you very much. Bye.